Hi, dorks. How's it going? Oh, hi. Hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> um, oh, it didn't... Why did it not... Weird. Um, anyway, hi. I'll figure out what the heck that means. <laughs> hi. Um, hi, dorks. It's it's unchowder time. It's time for Dwarf Fortress. Um, we're here. It's Monday. Um, I have new clothes. I went thrift shopping, so you're going to be seeing um, some new clothes in the next couple weeks because I, I raided a Goodwill and now these clothes are mine. So <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, Nightmot did not like you, and... Stop spamming emotes, warning. But you weren't even, were you? Or Frank emotes is not too many? Yeah. I didn't even see the emotes. That's the thing. Like, it's not showing me the emotes at all. So that's weird. Um, I'll fiddle with Nightbot's settings for that, because that's silly. Nightbot came with a whole bunch of default stuff, and I've mostly just left it as the defaults. So yeah, it was just my first comment. It was just four emotes, I guess. But I mean, I'm okay with that, so I'll make I'll make Nightbot be okay with that. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Oh, I see it. I see it in the, like, it showed up in the, like, the screen, like, the stream screen. I can see the, the emotes up there, and then Nightbot's message. But Nightbot must have deleted the message, like, immediately. So, like, in my actual little chat pane, I don't see it there. I only see it in the on-screen stuff. Weird. I'll, I'll fiddle with that. Used a mod for the streamer, and I mostly just had just undo Nightbot being, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, oh, whatever, whatever. We're here to play Dwarf Fortress, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, welcome to the mess. <laughs> um, last stream was fun with a capital F. You'll see we got a uh, forgotten beast corpse here. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause and let things go. I think we're waiting on a, we got a, got a trader. Yeah, merchants are just showing up. So we'll make sure to deal with them. Uh, but yeah, last stream I was working on a web farm, trying to trap a web slinging forgotten beast and trap it into a, a thing. And it didn't quite work. Um, so, the good news is that no one died, I don't think, right? Our, our military is still at full strength, yeah. The good news is that no one died. The bad news is that my trap situation did not really work <laughs> the way that I thought it would. Uh, so it got loose and it was in the fortress for a short bit, but it's fine, we put it down. Ultimate bad news is that that beast is no longer with us and will not be shooting any more webs. Uh, so we're going to have to wait for another web-slinging forgotten beast to show up. Uh, that's all good stuff. I'm hoping we have a whole bunch of... Yeah, a whole bunch of finished goods. Yeah, look at all these rings. Football Manager game is making me incredibly miserable as my team sucks. But now... That's how the game goes sometimes. It sure is. Yeah, 49 dwarves. Um, speaking of that, I think I'm gonna up it to like, up our cap up to like 55, just so we can hit the 50. Um, and then I might, like once we get the mayor, maybe I'll, I'll take it back down to 50. Cause 50 is a nice rounded number, but we're never gonna actually get a mayor of the streets. <laughs> I think we want it. I think we want to have a mayor. Um, there's a mug in there, that's fine. Oh, there's gotta be a... yeah, there's a... Big green worth 12k in there. We're gonna have to find a way to... Find a place to put all of our... Artifacts. We're starting to accumulate them. Um, that should be fine. 
music sounds a bit like Terraria. This one is... Which one is this? I don't know if there's actually any Terraria music in there. Um, is this like Wii? Hot tea and firmware updates is <laughs> what the song is called. I don't know what it's... It sounds like Wii music. Like Wii system music, but I can't remember if that's actually what it is. Anyway, um, I do still want leather, I think, from our trading friends. Well, probably not too much. Um, wood we definitely want. Oh. And what else are we looking for? Seeds were fine. Try to bring in ammo. Instruments, we should have a bunch of instruments. Uh, food we're fine on, really. Mm. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. Leather and wood. Oh, uh, I do want to open our depot access so that people can actually take the shortcut through, um, but then I'll go ahead and just close this one. So the owls can't sneak in. Yeah, they're all taking the long way to get down there. Oh well. There we go. Trade Depot is safe. Oh, I need to request the broker, that's right. And let's go ahead and just go into our settings here. I think it's in... Where? These are the, all the enemy triggers. Yeah, enemy, enemy population to trigger so like we haven't even hit like the second trigger for for enemies and such i don't think we were at 50 for a very brief period mm, let's see these are all triggers and not caps i wonder if i can even change that mid game Oh, curious wildness, wilderness creatures can come to cause trouble. You can just turn that off if you really wanted to. That's interesting. Uh, I, yeah, done. Is it in here? Here we go. Okay, here it is. Let's do 55. strict cap is going to be at 60 still. So that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if we can get <laughs> get our mayor that way. Uh, but yeah, other than, than this trading, we're going to want to figure out... We're going to make some alterations to our web farm and our, our trap situation. Clearly, since it didn't work. Uh, but we did learn some stuff. So I think there's some improvements we can make. Uh, just waiting for our broker here. As usual. Frank, bite me, run off, stand in front of food cupboard, scream, follow me around. No pause. Need snuggles. Repeat. <laughs> I know this pain. Jezebel is, is over here on, on the other desk, just conked out, but she's gonna make herself known any moment now, I'm sure. Uh, eat. Broker. Come on. Trade first, then eat. 
Yeah, Jezebel's really good at um the the kibble bowl is only like half food. I can see the I can see the bottom of my dry food bowl, so I must scream at you. My goodness. Current game is angry at the fan being on, angry at the fan being off, of course. It's interesting that Frank has an aversion to fans. I've noticed that Jezebel doesn't sleep in the bedroom when we have the ceiling fan on. I don't really know why that is. Wood. Give me all your wood. Oh, and here we go. Uh, we want pigtail. Now that I've made way too much paper, we can actually get our our pigtail spawn. Actually, it's just seeds. You seeds are easy to store. That's fine. Um. And then, how much leather do you have? You have a whole bunch of leather. More leather than we can hold. Guess let's do this. How much do we have? Offer. I want to just control C. There we go. That's that's handy. Yeah. Okay. Is that actually working? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so obviously a bunch of leather. We're working on our own cloth. That's a lot of leather. Literally just leather. That must have been just what I asked for. Okay. Uh, well, let's get some leather then. Very least, we'll just never run out of that. Uh, 380, that's a bit much. I'm gonna... Yeah, there we go. Trade. Cool. Good to go. Sometimes he sits in front of it or naps. Sometimes he shouts at me and stops it if I stops if I put it on. Weird. Cats are weird. Um. So let's see. It's early autumn. Our river has already frozen again, uh, and we were gonna try. I'm gonna make a, a little. I'm gonna make an auxiliary reservoir out of this area here. And this will be something we can fill in the summer when our uh, river is thawed. And then we'll have a body of water here to refill our waterfalls through the through the, the, the winter. Cold fortress? Yeah. It's... The ground is frozen three quarters of the year. Like, I'm surprised there's no snow on the ground already. It's gonna start any minute now. Oh, and this. We're gonna, we're gonna revisit some of this, too. Hi, creature. You heard us talking about you. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, but... I wonder if they can actually get to there. Hmm. Um, so there's plenty of water in here right now. Yeah, plenty of water. Okay. Uh, so at some point, we're going to want to drain the little bit of water that's in here. So that we can get in here and kind of mess with these constructions. Um, but I'll, I'll let the waterfalls run for a little bit and run down a little bit. So. so that when we add more water, we don't flood anything. Since that's a danger. Uh, let's do... Let's do that. I don't know if they can actually stand on this ramp and, and deconstruct that wall there. Forgotten beast, killing crocodiles. All good there. Leather bags, milling plants. Cool. Cancels, sheer animal. Heart herbalist moral is is not doing good. Every time I check the job cancellations, he's just not good. Sleep you can do. Yeah, you see this? He's just trying to take a store-owned item job 
and then just immediately canceling it because he's too injured. Can't stand. Can't grasp. Do you have... Do you have a, a, a walkie thing? Do you have a crutch? Had right hip set. Ooh. Uh, evaluated, cleaned. Sutures, sutures. Set, set. Dressing, dressing. Wow. Yeah. Moral broke his hip. Smashed apart. Oh, you have an infection. After all of that, you have a fingernail infection? Okay. Um, do you have a crutch? Do we have- we have crutches. There should be crutches here in... <laughs> all that. Uh, in the hospital, I thought. Oops. Hey, migrants! Ooh! Okay. Uh, check this before my brain leaves. Yeah, we have crutches. So I don't know why he didn't get a crutch. Uh, okay, so here's here's someone. My goals are important to me. And there's a second person. It's best to slow down and just relax. A blacksmith, a novice blacksmith, sure. Oop, and a third person. Be merry. Talent is sober. Okay, fine. And you? One must always be loyal to their cause and the ones they serve. You're a animal dissector. Oh, and a novice weaponsmith. That's not bad. But everyone, that puts us at 53. So long as we don't lose four people in the next season, I think we can get... I think we can get a mayor. Memory serves the thing that has to happen is an election. And those happen at certain like dates within a season. So if we've already passed this season's election, then we'll have to wait until next season. And you have to have 50 dwarves on election day, essentially, or else you don't get a mayor. So um, let's not rock the boat too much and make sure we can keep these 53 uh, until election day, I guess. And so far, so far we're being quite pretty quiet here, so I think we're going to be okay. Uh, did we grab all of our stuff out of here? There's still a bunch of wood. Whatever. I'll just wait for like the, um, oh, they will be leaving soon. Okay. I'll open this. happened perfect and of course oh yeah I do want that one out okay so then we're gonna build a wall here uh, and I've been doing microcline blocks since that's what we have now and this is gonna be a floodgate I think we have some of yeah yeah And then we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to put a floodgate in here so we can flood into here and then down to here. Yeah, but we'll wait until we've drained all that. That's all good. And okay, we're dying cloth. Very cool. Um, so let's take a look. Take a look around. Uh, we still have some stuff being moved around in here. Here's all of our... Oh, they're finally working on this. Are they actually taking the stuff out of the... The craft workshops? Finally, holy cow. That's good, though. I think they're finally... Finally dealing with all of our... Our workshop... Stuff. Um, and that's exactly what I want them to be doing. So that's good. That's very good. Yeah, look at all this. Um, 
And look, we got all this fuel. Very cool. Oh, I should make uh, a little microcline. Uh, I mean, it's ending up in our, our drunk stone right now. I'm going to make a little special microcline uh, stockpile. Um, and we'll put that over. Yeah, I can go here. Since I'm making microcline blocks now, um, so I'll just do my other. Yeah, there we go. And then remove that from this one. Perfect. Then other stone will be used for doors and such, and then microcline will be stored here for specific block jobs. We still have all of these blocks just sitting in the stockpile. They have a place to go. But it seems like they're working on it, so that's fine. We'll we'll let them we'll let them catch up. On our food. We have so much food. Which is Good, but also... We have more food than space for food. Jezebel. Don't eat the hot glue, please. Yeah, cause like, they, see, they need space to put, like, individual items. So that they can then be put into these barrels. So now this is already full again. This is our prepared food and booze. And that that's all seems fine. This is our like raw junk stockpile. And here's our paper crops, our dimple dye, water bucket for some reason empty bag stockpile didn't ever really happen, but they're moving a bunch of stuff now. But also, I don't really care. Well, I guess we still want it for, like, flower and dye and such, so I do still want that to happen. That's fine. Um. I've also been thinking about how much ore we have just lying about the fortress. Which is kind of an interesting problem to have. Um, whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Um, like, I'm used to a fortress just having a bunch of stone just kind of scattered about, but we've actually, like, used so much of our stone that the only stuff that is actually just laying around in our fortress is ore. Which is interesting. Because now I feel like I just have too much ore. So I want to put it somewhere. I want to make like a little stockpile, like a backup stockpile. But maybe in here even, since there's <laughs> already so much. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's just make a big ol' stockpile. Is going to be for stones. And all of the metal ores are going to show up here. Because all of the other economic stones have a place to go. They'll probably We probably have more like lignite lying around. But I think less so. We'll, we'll start with this. This will be overflow ore. Um, and then we'll set that to give. Yeah, they're just going to move everything inside. Um, we'll set this to give to all of the ore piles themselves. Two to there, and to there, and to there. the only ore we have sitting up here. Mm -hmm. 
So now there's a place for all the ore to go downstairs, but if this stuff gets used, then there's just gonna be a job to haul stuff from the overflow back, uh, back up to here. So that's close to the workshops. And this has wheelbarrows. I should probably have more wheelbarrows. We should just have wheelbarrows everywhere. Which, of course, we'll have to make more wheelbarrows, but that's fine. We just bought a bunch more wood. So let's just say, like, ten wheelbarrows. And that'll be cool. And... There's also the gypsum. There's, like, there's gypsum everywhere. And we don't really even care about it. <laughs> I don't think. It's useful for plaster, but like, you don't need that much. Let's do this. This will be some, oops. Uh, clother is dehydrated. That's an interesting message to receive. Stone. Oops, um, there we go. Okay. And that'll just be that. A gremlin, drive it away. How did a gremlin get in here? That's interesting. Funniest thing about this country is the conservatives being in power for 13 years. Do you keep blaming stuff on labor? Yeah, I mean, that's that happens here, too. Four conservative PMs in our right-wing paper just printed an article about the last labor PM apparently increased people's mortgage payments. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah, we... Over here, people still complain about Obama. Uh, okay, so someone was... Hey, we are now a county. That's cool. Still don't have a mayor. Thanks, Obama. Yeah. It became a meme for a reason. Uh, who... Who was dying? Someone's... <laughs> someone's... Someone's gonna die. I don't know who it is. It's someone's trapped in a tree somewhere. We got like pine cones landing on our walkway. See, it's, it's already snowing. Ridiculous. I don't see anyone trapped in a tree. Also, this never happened, did it? That's cool. We probably even already had to make a memorial to the corpse that's up here. Hilarious. Uh, okay. Who was began with an I? Is it you? Unconscious. Are you just sleeping? You're sleeping. Okay. having a hard time here. Iton? Maybe it was that one. Here we go. Hungry, dehydrated. Oh, because you're trapped down here, aren't you? Because I turned the stairs into floor, which means they are no longer upstairs. That's what happened. Um, if I tell you to remove that floor... I'm also going to raise this bridge to kind of close off the, the caves again. Okay. I'm imagining... Do 
You're just you're just standing there. Okay. So I'm imagining you can't do that. Um, let's do. I mean, I could just build upstairs. I believe like this. Does that work? Yeah. Someone else should be able to come along and do that for us, and then we'll just have to fix <laughs> the down part. That's fine. One, do this now would be good, so that we don't lose our friend here. Or clother, even. Expert clother. Um, oh, and we also got more critters with our migration wave. Donkey. I'm oh, just a donkey. Okay. One's coming, in theory. Yeah. Cool. So now I just need someone to do this. Do you think in 15 years' time, the left-leaning people will look more favorably on Obama's first term or Biden's? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Someone... Is someone coming? I mean, they're very... The context of them have been very different, right? Okay. We didn't lose a dwarf! Hooray! And this is all slowly... Oh, that's, that's present to you. I'm going to give this some wheelbarrows. Since it's literally just hauling stone everywhere. Too deep and serious in chat. Um, I mean, it's fine. I'm going to put Red 1 on Dwarf Fortress, but <laughs> whatever. Um... A lot of people on the left just like Obama nowadays. I mean... The Democrat complaints about Democrat presidents almost always come down to not being liberal enough in the US. Um, there's a lot of frustration from, I mean, all sorts of people, but... Uh, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of capitulation and middle groundiness and I don't know there's a whole history there uh, third way Democrats is a, a, a thing you can Google started with Clinton is kind of my understanding of it uh, but I just do, I do this or can I just oh look a gigantic creature resembling a human Almost unparalleled in size. We just got a giant. Have we seen a giant before? Like an actual giant? We've seen a bronze colossus, but I don't think that's what this is. Um, okay, one second. Let me let me do this. I'm gonna see if I can just you know, I construct this back into work that way? It might work that way. Okay, uh, we'll just do that. And this is closed. Oh, I need to close like... Okay. We, we compromised our security to try and lure in the beast, so I need to like fix it. Um, oh, that's right. We're doing a civilian alert. And I'm going to unlock this door. And then I'm going to say this safety burrow can include here specifically. But I can come in and say wall. Bam. So now hopefully some com someone can come down and build that wall and then we'll not be, uh, you know, open. 
do do do. Oh, that's right. We have a giant. Where'd you go? You've already... You've already become caged. Wow, am I glad we put cage traps there. Done. <laughs> wow. They have a name. This is Odlug Kadnigumist Sockrox Koro. I mean, it looks like the giant... I mean, it spawned right here, and it must have just climbed this wall and ended up right here. Because I put some cage traps here to... Because because owls kept swooping into our guardhouse, so I put some cage traps here just in front of the, the walkway. And it tried to get in that way, and it went into a cage trap. So now we have a cage giant. That's neat. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to inspect. Uh, 43 year old. Odd lug night duties, the strength of culmination. Feels patient after being conf confined. Interesting. Trouble breathing? Why? What happened? Was there even a combat log with you? The giant is fighting. Oh! Flying Bolt strikes the giant in the upper body. In the midst of conflict, I feel no terror. Begone fear. Death, I am uneasy. Flying Silver Bolt strikes in the upper body. Death is all around me. I'm uneasy. I've been injured badly. This leaves me so shaken. Wow! Giant loses hold of the jet block wall. Interesting. So, uh, that's cool. Who was even doing this? I don't even see... There's not even a dwarf around here. Yeah, Fath. Good job, Fath. Where did this actually happen? You were... Fath must have been up here and shooting down, or up here. Fath was probably on patrol duty. That's incredible. Our automatic guard situation just dealt with the giant. That is so happy. A, a, a new creature that we have never seen before showed up, and our defenses just handled it before I even saw what was going on. Perfect. I am concerned with it being able to climb the walls like that. Uh, but I don't know <laughs> what we can even do about that. Um, okay. And then... We're clearly not having that many creatures to shear, but that's fine. Um, okay. So, speaking of, I do want to revisit that little guardhouse situation. I also want to make sure that these things happen. I was also going to see if there's anything else we can figure out about this giant. Keep an eye on down here while I'm looking. Yeah, okay. Um, patient. Good, you're in a cage now. And I'm not letting you out. Very slow to heal. Uh, do you have any kills? You don't have any kills that we know of. A deep well of patience and a sharp intellect. He is assertive, generally acts impartially, and is rarely moved to mercy. Does not easily fall in love and rarely develops positive sentiments. Often cheerful. Oh, our stuff got made. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to clear the civilian alert now that they can't get outside. Perfect. 
Uh, he has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others. He can sometimes act without deliberation. He is quite polite. He rarely feels discouraged. He didn't or doesn't focus on material goods. He is a hardened individual. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, okay, so task one. I want to come up here and we have some cage traps in here to you know trap any owls or giants who just want to walk into our guardhouse. Is that a friend again? Doran. We've seen we've seen this one before, I feel like. Anyway. Um, so I'm gonna put in like a little U-bend situation and we'll put in some some weapon traps in addition to, to like some backup cage traps. But I'm tired of caging all these things. I'm tired of caging all these owls. So we're gonna put in some weapon traps. Um, and okay, so then that means we're gonna do lock, wall. And first we'll do floor. I'm gonna do like this, I think. Um, this is where I'll use the remainder of our jet. And then I'm going to have... Our walkway is going to kind of go like this. Yeah. Of course, we're going to have to get rid of a tree. Sad. Uh, and of course, it's over pasture see what happened to Boris Johnson I saw that he resigned right which is funny I mean I don't I admit I don't keep track of, of UK politics that closely but yeah my friend in Maryland were trading stories <laughs> yeah yeah the the Trump stuff has been fun to watch, that's for sure. Or no, I don't care about... I can build walls on top of the floor, is it right? Is that how that works? Yeah, okay. So then we're gonna do a wall here. And then a wall here. Here. So we're just going to go up and around, and we'll put another door here, and then we'll put in some weapon traps here. Now this is interesting because this is just an up. I kind of want to redo a chunk of this. Oh, but to your, your previous question, Obama's legacy, I mean, I'm not going to, there's going to be smarter people to talk about that, but my, my, my instinct is that uh, a lot of contemporary talk about both Obama and Biden will probably be about how they weren't doing enough, you know, because we like to complain about things like that, but 15, 20 years from now, They'll, they'll be of their time. They'll be the, the thing that happened at that time because that's the only thing that could have happened. And I think that's kind of my my opinion as well. Only so much they... Like, of course I want them to do more. I want them to fix everything, but that's not always an option. Why did... Did I tell them to do that? Okay. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to have it come out and do kind of the same thing. We're 
just gonna do that. Is that what I'm doing? So we'll do... This one can go away. How is this? Oh, that's an unfortunate highwood. Well, yeah, let's let's take that one down. I do want to grow like a really big highwood. Oh, and we need to fill on that floor. That's a thing. This one, but we'll leave, you know, this one. If I leave two cage traps at the end, just as our backups in case the weapon traps don't do their thing. Resigned, but that's because he committed. The committee said there is no precedent for a prime minister having been found to deliberately mislead the house. Huh. Yeah, they recommended suspending him, so he quit. <laughs> that's that's the part that I heard. There was some sort of investigation that he didn't like the res the the results of, and then he just he resigned, which sounds sounds right. For throwing parties over COVID. What a... What a dumb thing. Hey, we're saving. Now that you say that, that does sound familiar. I remember there being drama, like, at the time. A lot of... Do as I say, not as I do kind of situations. Which everyone always loves. These don't, these don't need to be floors. I need is like this. here. Um, and then, and then weapon traps. Oh, everyone's... Oh, are these... These are goblin thieves. Look! Our... Our patrolling guard spotted two goblin thieves before they even got into the fortress. Now they're running off. Look at that. Yeah, and then they fuck off. They don't like being seen. If you can see the goblin thieves, that they're just gone. The only reason, the only way that they'll actually do something is that they can get in and out completely unseen. So that's cool. Yeah, we haven't seen we haven't seen a siege yet. We haven't actually been like attacked by a civilization in this fortress yet. So I'm interested to see if we're gonna start seeing. More stuff pop up. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. And we'll put a door here. Uh, but then, yeah, we'll have two... Two cage traps here. And then basically the rest of this will be... Weapon traps. And you do want to be a little careful about where specifically you put traps. Because 
when when critter when people in general path like you can see um they don't go they can take diagonals so you can see he came in he got, went to here and then went here 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 and here so i think this tile and this tile should be weapon traps specifically i'll do the weapon we'll start I do want to choose, I want to choose manually. Let's do it this way. Here. And then, oh yeah, we pick our, pick a really nice mechanism. Pick a masterwork mechanism. And then we just need... Or do we not have... I thought we had a whole bunch of stuff still. Did we not remake? We might not have made more things. I assume that happened, but I didn't actually check. Spikes and axe blades, that's what we're doing. This claims that we have a bunch. Prep components. Yeah, 40 axe blades, and we should have like 50. Yeah. Okay. So we've only used two traps worth of stuff here. Okay. Oh, there they are. Am I blind or is that being weird? Whatever. I'll do that. And uh, same thing here. Might as well place all of these if I can. Especially to use our masterwork mechanisms. Pokemon music is so good. Just universally. All Nintendo music. Like, Nintendo is just so good at... Like, whatever you care about Nintendo, their music is just always so good. Like, Kirby music? If you just sliced open my brain and let the music fall out, it'd be Kirby. Cool. So now we have set up, we've designated four traps. Yeah, see now they're just gonna go through our little, our little U-bins there. Cool. I'm happy with that. I think we can leave that be a little bit. Oh, and there was another, so we got that done. I don't think we opened up a hole here. Must have been, yeah, okay, cool. I think we're good. Have our merchants left? Yeah, okay. Oh, so we should, there's still a whole bunch of wood here. Come on, people. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this just so that we can give our are people time to grab all the items out of the trade depot without it being all dangerous? I think they appreciate that. Um, and we we cleared our our alert, right? So now this is all just kind of open. And this is this we really need to revisit. <laughs> This is the part that I, I don't want to say screwed up, didn't do correctly. The thing that I didn't realize was that the doors would have, were going to stop them, 
or stop it. So I think what we're gonna do is deconstruct some of these things. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this whole thing. I guess this, we'll leave that because I need to stand on it to, to do things. Um, but I want to make, like this is our retracting bridge. This is the actual pit trap element of it. I think I'm gonna lengthen this so that it's actually this whole line. And then I guess this door stays there. I'm gonna put a door here and a door here. And then these bridges are on the other side. I think I want to have door than bridge. I was doing bridge than door. But like bridge than door means they stand on the bridge and attack the door but they're too heavy for the bridge to, to move them. So the bridge just doesn't do anything. But if I do door than bridge then they'll stand you know here attacking the door here and then I have a bridge here for backup if they break the door, because some things can break doors, but they can't break bridges. Bridge, door, bridge. Yeah, basically. I'm going to have a, a retracting bridge here. And then a door. Because I want, I want the... Because they're going to go up to the door, right? So I want, when they're standing at the door, they need to be standing on the trap itself, the thing that retracts. Because if they're standing on a lowered bridge that needs to raise, then that bridge won't work, is my, my understanding. So like this tile in particular, uh, which means we're also getting rid of this. Everything's gonna be just slightly different. Right? So now I need to make a wall like this. That's what we're doing. Hey, look at all this wood. Where's my microcline? Uh, no, this is not quite right. Wait, no. Step. I'm gonna do like this. Needs adjacent wall. Okay, well then hurry up. Yeah, okay. Let them work on that. Um, the other thing that we're doing is trying to find magma, but see what? And it's all warm. Hmm, does it need to go down further? This warm? The heck does that mean? I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna poke down a little bit. I'm trying to find magma way down here. So I want an incinerator at the very least. Jet. Oh, they're 
con they're canceling our jet block job because we're out of raw jet. I want to say we've been mining some. Down here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we still got a little bit more. May as well keep going with the jet. Yeah. Just, that's fine. Um, oh, and here too. Perfect. That's fine. Uh, we'll just... Why not? Mine out everything except for the cave itself. I'll give us some more jet. Not that we need a ton more. Uh, some of this worked. Except they can't really get to there, can they? Let's do... That'll be fine. Wow, that was a lot of dead llamas. Do we really have that many llamas? <laughs> Jeez. Telling them to keep a bunch of them. Uh. Llamas, yeah. Oh, I guess we have a bunch. I, mean, I do want to keep the population from exploding, but... Okay, look at all these babies. I believe we should have... Ten emails? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, okay, ten. Okay. Just means more llama leather. And meat. That's not where I meant to go, but that's hilarious. <laughs> that's a lot of blood. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open these. And then our little handle override. Which may need to be pulled twice, I never know. Crossing music is also very good. Sadly, I am sleepy. I need to get up early. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, ha have a good night. I'll hopefully we will have a mayor by the time you come back. Do we have one now? No, still not. So now we can open up this and turn that into a floodgate and then we'll hook everything up. And then we also need to dig right there, which we can't get into because this is not open, which will leak a little. And we can't get... Uh, oh. You just, you went that way. Oh, I guess that's fine. You got out, okay. That's 
fine. <laughs> as long as you can get back out again. Uh, so then we want to do another floodgate right here. Cool. So now we have a backup reservoir, fill, and drain. And we'll need to link those to levers because everything gets linked to levers. Trap back up. These are all already taken, aren't they? We're gonna need a bigger control room. Oh, here we go. We'll do... these two. Um, waterfall reservoir fill. Waterfall reservoir. So this one gets linked here. Of course, that's going to use a masterwork, but we, um, I think we're fine. Yeah. And then the other one, already made, perfect. Bill. Um, cool. Now, we're just waiting for those both to be filled. And then I can go ahead and close this even. Full. So that no one gets flooded. Look at all this creepy crawler remains. All this food. We have too much food. Because that all needs to go up in here. All those butcher remains. Hmm. I mean, I can repurpose part of this into food storage. I don't... Is that what I want to do? We could also, I mean, we could put some stuff over here too. Maybe that's the smarter thing. We could almost put it over here if we had like a a way to just walk through here. There isn't quite isn't quite room there. That's fine. Um let's just do There will definitely be enough room for food if I do that. Is that smart? I don't know. The main thing is that the ready to eat food is down here right next to the the dining hall. And the rest of this is for use in the shops. I think that's fine. I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Whether or not it's fine. Um and then we're down to like one free lever in here. So I think this is going to get a bit bigger. So this, all, this all can be levers too. That's fine. Oh, and we can do... I mean... I don't need this to be two wide walls. A little lever room, that's fine. If we desperately need more, we can come back this way. But that should be... should be plenty. We're smelting Cassiterite. That's cool. Probably because we used some of our bronze trap stuff. Canceling for the jet, that's fine. Um, okay, so a lot of that got deconstructed. 
still haven't really dug stuff here, but that's fine. Okay, cool. So, door. Here. And then a gate here. Line is fine. Ugh. Whatever. Um, and then I need to channel out. Uh, how do I do this? Well, so let's first let's channel out these far too. And then once that's done, we'll deconstruct the bridge, and then we'll channel these two. And then we'll build a bridge over the whole dang thing. I don't think I need a gate here because nothing's going to bust down a door to get out I don't think cut to 12 episodes from now when I regret saying that but I, th I think that's fine we struck rose quartz oh cool Yeah, I think all of this needs to go into this stockpile. Well, that's a good question, actually. Where does the flower end up? It's all just donkey parts. Pig's milk. Tallow. <laughs> Entire barrel of tallow. Jeez. Happiness is doing pretty good. We do have two grumpy people. One of them is moral because he can't do anything. And Momas. Legendary Spear Dwarf. That's cool. Unmented. Pray to Osig. We have a temple to Osig. You should be able to do that. Waterfall, 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 trauma. <laughs> yeah, look at all those waterfall thoughts. That's very good. Uh, did we get these linked? That one's linked. That one's linked. Perfect. So now we just close this. almost got done. Uh, I'm just going to extend this same stockpile and call it good. Should have enough room for it now. Because the whip vines themselves are showing up in here, and then we're turning them into flower. 
I want to see someone move the flower. Wait, what was that? That was weird. Uh, so you are making flower. And now you're making dye. In. Yeah, so you're going to take all these individual donkey parts and put them everywhere. You aren't... Where'd you go? You're not hauling anything. Hey, look at all those bolts on you. Wow, good job. Yeah. You are going to store an item in a barrel. What are you hauling? If anything. Now you're grabbing... Prepared Llama Brain. And you're gonna go stuff it in a barrel. Perfect. And then you're done. Spin thread. <laughs> okay, fine. Um... I guess I want to pick the non-masterworks for these. Exceptional ones. There we go. Cool. Bone crafts. Hooray. Needs jet, of course. Um, okay. Hopefully our, our mining jobs can happen. And I think... I mean, I'm gonna have to redo this one too, right? Might wait. Because we're gonna we're gonna channel down these and then they'll need to get out that way. Okay, so we'll hold off on that for the moment. This one's gonna need to get channeled to there. Which means this needs to change. Uh, yeah, okay. We're making progress. And look at all this. So like Is this just the top? Like everything below is... Hmm. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do... Stairwell down one. And then we can do like oh, another just channel that. So these are all just up ramps, yeah. Take a peek. There's lava around here somewhere. Needs check. Yeah, I know. How are we doing up here? This is getting better. Um, we're gonna need a place to stand for that, I guess. Let's do like this. Oop. I can do that. And then... Oh, and roofs. Duh. Oh, but I already have... Was this passable? I thought I had that locked. That should have been locked. Oh, well. Uh, we'll put roofs up here. Of course, now that I'm out of rock salt, I can't make it match. Building present. Oh, I can. Yeah, okay. Where 
Where's my rock salt? Yeah, I have five whole rock salt blocks. Okay. I was going for microcline because we have a bunch of microcline, but now I want to make it match. Where there's a place where we just have a bunch of rocks on this way. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly just <laughs> obliterating this entire level. That's fine. No. We have a jet block job in here somewhere. Yeah. Um, maybe just do that, and then that'll that'll stop canceling for a little while. And then. Do rock salt. Or do that. Do like that. And say rock salt. Hi. Be fine. Yeah, we'll figure that out eventually. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now we can do a wall here. And then we're good, I think. Move our, our still stairwell here. Might look a little nicer. Let's yeah, let's do this. Let's remove this. And then we'll do stairs from here to here. Do that many rock salt blocks at least. of open to things anyway right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and the downward stairway let's do that yeah. and we'll just put a roof over this whole dang thing child withdraws from society. What are you going to do? What do you got for me? Peculi peculiarly secretive. This two-year-old has recently been euphoric due to inebriation. 
10 bars? Okay. Gems, cool. There's still, there's still so much junk here. Oh my god. We'll figure out eventually. We got so much wood now, too. I'm tempted to make, like, another, another layer of storage. We just have too much stuff. Of course, we still have so many more digging jobs to do. Oh, are you actually a... You're not a visitor. These are my... These are supposed to be my, like, hotel rooms. These all got... <laughs> they all got taken by... Why is that how that works? Because these are part of the tavern. Rented rooms. I mean, are they actually renting the rooms? These are all dwarves. What about your groups? Yeah, you're part of our site government. Hmm. And I'm debating because if I need more long stay rooms, then that's where they're gonna go. Of course, they could also. We have this whole level here that we haven't done anything with. So maybe I don't care that much. But we would want. That's all. Yeah, okay. I could theoretically mark all of this as, like, more furniture storage. I have discovered a great magma sea. Perfect. That's what I want. Okay. Um, I'm also just going to earmark that for now. We probably won't start digging it quite yet. But here we go. Perfect. So I'm going to put a floor here so nothing sneaks up. We already have some more rock salt blocks. Perfect. This will just be my recline. That's fine. Perfect. Thank you. So yeah, the, this is literally the top. And can you see anything interesting down here? Magnetite wall. A magma crab. That's when I keep on pausing. I don't even see, like, gem walls. That's interesting. Semi-molten rock. We, wow. Semi-molten rock is, like, the bottom of the world. He's, well, the second lowest layer of the world. But you can't mine through semi-molten rock. That's how you know we're really deep. Uh, our child has made Rotom Gomath. A llama bone shield. Cool. Thank you. Did any good. The Pelt of Legends. Encrusted with oval cut pyrites and circled with bands of ten oval kaolinite cabochons, round jet cabochons, hanging rings of llama bone, spikes of kaolinite, bayberry wood. Image of Ware Murdered, the wooden killer. The Cobalite Bracelet. Oh, it's just an image of another artifact. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Yeah, that's... 
interesting. We're we're like we're at the bottom of the world here, um, and we can kind of say pretty definitely that we don't have any, you know, shoots going up. I think we if I think we would see anything higher if there was anything higher. Now that we poked our head in. So yeah. Some zircons. Yeah. Okay. Well. Ultimately, that means now we know where our magma is, so that we can make a trash chute. That's the main thing I want. So I just have to figure out what I want to do there. is happening. Okay. I saw some more whatchamacallits. Uh, okay, so we need to put a floor there now. Of course. Cross. We have exactly as many rock salt blocks as we need for that, so that's cool. But we'll get more. I do really like how this node is kind of gently accumulates on all the surfaces. It's very satisfying. Did our... did this get... this all got done, right? So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna open this one. So that once we get our thaw, our reservoir will fill up. And that'll just happen automatically. And then once it's full, we can close this, and then we'll have the water for when we need it. Weapon traps are happening. Did we not? Oh, that one got cancelled or something? These are... they're happening. Okay. Okay, so I'll redesignate the one. Something cancelled those jobs there. I'm not sure what actually happened there. Finish that. There's a couple more other places I want to stick some weapon traps to. I'm wondering. I mean, should I'm. Um, I can replace these two fortifications with walls just for the heck of it. Nope. Yeah, cool. They can get up here. Door. This has been bugging me this whole time. We already got another 20 rock salt blocks. Perfect. Cool. And then... Just <laughs> for the sake of eroticism. And here. 
it's under 20, so we'll have to, we'll have to wait a little bit. Yeah, whatever. And a door, of course. More doors. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the wall. Yeah. I think that works. Hey, more saving. Perfect. Perfect. Maceman has been found dead. Uh, was it you? Uh, there's not a combat log. The fact that it happened right after a save leads me to believe that this person just died of old age. Like just now. My understanding is that if someone dies of old age, it usually happens at the beginning of a season. Like, or that's when it checks, I guess. I mean, this is the first of the year, even. Yeah. So I think old age is like a number of years, and once you hit that, like, year that plus a day, you fall over dead. Pretty sure that's how that works. So. Uh, here lies Idor. I think that what you weren't even a citizen, were you? Just some random human fell over dead in our dining hall. Oh, I was doing this. Lower. Yeah, we already got a whole bunch more. Perfect. Oh, there we go. So that will work. That'll be all I need for all of that. Once these weapon traps get done... Yeah. Oh, and if I'm being... <laughs> this isn't erotic as I want to be. That'll work. This was originally a roof, so I could have done that as jet, but I mean, whatever. Look at him go! Wow. Poor Moral. I would tell Moral to do nothing and just sit down, but like, he keeps canceling store-owned item. Like, people can't help with that one. I feel better about this setup. This is this is safer. If we get any more owls, they're gonna have to pass over these weapon traps and and then into the cage traps. And they they should not have a good time. <laughs> uh, all those masterwork mechanisms and bronze weapons should take care of an owl pretty well, I think. Fingers crossed. We'll find out. Here we go. Perfect. Why is there already blood here? Okay. I'll ignore that. Just lock that. 
<laughs> okay. So now we're now we're secure here. I think I think that's gonna be how we do it. Um, did this all get moved? Not really. Oh, because it's all wood. Look how okay we're we're collapsing our furniture stockpile probably because of the lack of ore in here realistically. So let's go ahead and take out a little bit more. Make this a bit bigger. Nope, that's not. There we go. Cool. Hopefully that wood can get moved down. Is what gypsum? We don't. Yeah, we'll never go through all that gypsum. And then yeah, look, all of our our new expanded food stockpile. Cool. It's just a bunch of... Like, this stuff doesn't actually have a home, so that's that's expected. Um, there is still all this stuff, but it looks like they're working on it. Um, there's a bunch of bones in there, too. Whatever. Uh, okay, so, cave, we've done that, okay, so now let's disassemble this, and this, pretty sure that's what I'm doing. And we'll re-hook up all these levers at the end when we're done. Oh, and yeah, so we're going to mine, we're going to channel here. Which means that this, well, we want to do, we want to do door, then bridge. That's right. Let's do door. Here. Hello. How's it going? I'm working, I'm working on my beast trap. Okay, so now we need to channel these two. Carefully. Are you trying to make a silk producing trap? I sure am. How, how can you tell? <laughs> is it all the webs everywhere? This is my first attempt at it. My first real attempt. Or I guess I should say my la my first real attempt was last stream. And I learned some things. Uh, so this will be my revised attempt. <laughs> um, no one died. Um, this is my... So this isn't the web farm. This is just... There's a bunch of webs there because there are. Um... Oh, look, that all got filled already, and there's still so much more. Um, our actual web farm is going to be... Where are we? Here. And I have I need to make some revisions here, too. Um, but I have tunnels coming from below here, and then kind of a, a catch system here. I want to trap the beast here. I got a giant great horned owl in a cage here. And we got some fancy bridge setups, and then a loom... That's that's what I'm gonna go for. Um, <laughs> but the side effect of like wanting to link uh, a beast catching mechanism in the caves to a place to put beasts somewhere in the fortress means that I've made a whole infrastructure system for my for my beasts. Uh, so this this uh, this path goes all the way up. And a nice winding route and goes to here. And this is going to be stay closed under most circumstances, obviously. But if there's ever a nice big goblin siege that comes and wants to wants to say hi, uh, ideally I'd be able to just say, mm, 
Here's a beast. I'm just gonna let it out. So I'm, I'm preparing for, for that eventuality as well. This all got done. Okay. And we're just I'm I'm been making more revisions to my my gatehouse set up here. Yeah. Tiny fort. Look at this. That's the whole thing. <laughs> uh the previous stream, uh previous fortress that I was doing on stream was a full what do you call it? Like a it was a 4x4, I think. 200 population cap. And it was it was fun. Uh, and we made it our capital, but yeah, I w it was down to 15 to 20 frames for quite a while at the end there. Um, and yes, between, uh, we have a one by one embark and a population cap of 50. And that has been huge. I, so I, I capped my FPS at 50 and we have not gone below 50 yet. Um, in this fortress, we embarked here at 121, I believe, so we've been here for like 10 years. And I've been averaging like a year a stream. Like every every three to four hours, I go another year. And this, so this is like episode... This is me 12? And yeah, it's been a decade. It's ridiculous. It's been going so smoothly. And I love it. Like, look. Like, I'm commanding my entire embark. I have a nice little uh, courtyard in here. These are all bayberry trees. We weren't growing food for so long because we have so much fruit just on the ground. Um, and this stupid road is not being completed forever. Um, I need to figure that out someday. But um, I have you know, a wall on the first level and then a fortification and a walkway. And a person... Oops. One person is just assigned to walk the perimeter at all times with a crossbow. Sometimes they have ammo. Yeah, oh look, they even have ammo and everything. So I've already... Like just earlier this stream, we had two uh, goblin thieves show up. And they were spotted by the guard who was just doing a patrol of the wall. And the thieves were spotted before they even attempted to get into my gatehouse, and they just... They buggered right off. So... Oh, and see, now uh, done with done with that patrol. So now we're gonna go down to the military quarter. He's probably gonna go fill water skin, yeah. So yes, it helped with FPS, absolutely. The other thing that I've been doing has been I've, I've been good about uh, putting doors everywhere. Making sure to break line of sight as much as possible uh, helps with FPS because there's fewer checks. Every time a uh, every time a dwarf sees another dwarf, basically, they do a check uh, for thoughts and relations and all that kind of stuff. So more smaller rooms with doors and breaking line of sight. And now look, just gonna go. Ah, oh, it's working. Um, but that, that helps a lot with FPS as well. Even if you have a full-size fort and a full-size population, just put doors everywhere and hatches and stuff. Hmm. I actually have my... Uh, my population cap is at 55 right now because you need to hit 50 to, uh, to have a mayor. So I'm hoping we can get a mayor here. Have you been playing since the Steam release, or did I play before? I've been playing the Steam version since the Steam release. I've been doing it on stream, uh, so like I have a, I've got a big old backlog now. Um, but I've been playing Dwarf Fortress in general since a long time ago. Like right when I graduated college was when I first started playing. So that'd be 2010, 2011. So I've been I've been playing on off and on for for quite a while, uh, but obviously the Steam version is just so good. Uh, Grouchy in a snowstorm. You're a competent blacksmith. That's cool. And what are you, novice appraiser? It's snowing. Yeah. Okay. And then oh, another forgotten beast. Doc. Quadruped composed of yellow zircon. Oh no, that's awful. Uh, Luckily, all of our caves are closed right now. 
this is in the first layer. Oh. I want I want another web slinger. I had to put down the web slinger because my 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 thing didn't work. So I'm waiting for another one to show up. But a beast made of zircon. That doesn't sound very good. Me. <laughs> All this rat. Where'd it go? I want to see it eat something. Well, we caught a giant. <laughs> you have a, a caged billy goat skeleton. You know, as you do. Have you kept up with the updates of the Steam version? I have. Um, I'm on the, the updated version, if that's what you mean. I did a lot when it came out and followed the updates religiously. Kind of lost track at some point a while ago. Any big new thing come out since release? Nothing big. We're still waiting on the next, like, major release. Um, Zircon Beast parts could make some fancy artifacts. Will Are the parts actually made of, of the thing? I don't know if you actually, like, if I kill a Zircon beast, I don't know if you actually get any Zircon out of it. God. <laughs> I guess we could find out. Snail moistness. Oh dear. Um, the only real updates we've had to the Steam version since release, uh, the most recent one was they added sprites for the baby versions of a bunch of animals. So you can come into our, our little pen here. Um, some of them are more... Oh, we have a dead KB sow. Oh, a named... Someone's pet is dead. Um, but yeah, like llama. Baby llama. Uh, llama. Or no, uh, alpaca. Sorry. Llama. Baby llama. Uh, rabbit. These are, these are foals. Yeah, look. Donkey. Foal. All that stuff was added in the most recent recent thing. Yummy French. Oh yeah, that's fair. A big snail zircon. Excellent. Or zircon snail. <laughs> Delicious. We probably have some Forgotten Beasts stuff in our kitchen at this point. But we did we did kill the one. Uh, I don't think its corpse is there anymore. Yeah, we killed it up here. But we have so much food. Uh, I go kitchen. Meat. Journey. Yeah. I seem to be. I could say a forgotten beast. Mm, whatever. What's the pump stack for? It's a waterfall. Okay, this is my. This was the design feature that I based the entire fortress uh, around. So instead of having a single stair as my my central column, uh, imagine it being a spiral, like a walkway. Um, so like here, you're you're walking here, and then you have a ramp down, and you walk, and you ramp down, and walk, and a ramp down. So it's just a big spiral. And then on these outside walls, on every single level. I have waterfalls. So you can see, hopefully you'll see it like mist. Uh, but yeah, see, look, mist. 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 Literally every single level of our main fortress has constant waterfall generation. And you'll notice that our fortress is kind of happy. This is a huge improvement over our last fortress. Last fortress was like all tantrums all the time uh, we were we were writing the uh, writing the cusp of a of a tantrum spiral for the entire fortress and people kept dying people kept killing each other there was a child who had like several kills because <laughs> he just kept tantruming constantly uh, so I, I decided uh, the waterfall was going to be central to our design here. And it's been working very lovely. Same problem with kids, yeah. They're kind... I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, turn off most chores, yeah. One thing that I've heard is that uh, you want to turn off refuse hauling for children. Um, and then I've, I've turned it off and turned it back on again, but... Um, Children aren't very good at the whole 
seeing a bunch of dead bodies thing apparently. So I think if you leave, you know, like normal hauling on, but leave, turn off all the corpse hauling, I think that helps with the children. But yeah, I mean, just telling them to do nothing, that'll keep them happy, I guess. Um, but we're, so our fortress is also very far north. Our river, like we, there's a brook here. You can, you can see the frozen brook here. Um, it's frozen like three, three quarters of the year. It, it thaws late spring and, and freezes like early autumn, I think. Um, so I have, uh, you know, a, you know, so much water in, in the, the waterfall system in general. And I have a, here's my reservoir. There's only a co couple corpses down here. Um, this is our, our well cistern is a well. Um, but the waterfalls have actually been running dry like once a year for, you know, whatever reason, evaporation and, and dwarves walking through stuff. Uh, so I have to refill it. And what I've, I've just done recently, it's probably going to pop up here any second now. Uh, but I'm going to, this is going to be like a backup reservoir. I'm just going to fill this fr from the river. And then during the winter, if I need to add more water into the, the, the waterfall system, I can just trickle it in a little bit. Because I've overfilled it a couple times. I, I killed a legendary armorsmith <laughs> with our, our flooding waterfalls. Um, so I'm going to try not to do that again. Yeah, save drinking water. I mean, I'm so glad that corpses can be in well water and no one cares. Because I'm pretty sure every single well I've ever built in Dwarf Fortress has had a corpse in the bottom. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, we mined that. Perfect. And then I want to mine this right here. And then... Yeah. Well, I want to mine here. Yeah, sure. Whatever. That's fine. I'll make them the same. We'll just give that. Uh, okay, so now I want to make a bridge that retracts right there. And we'll use all our nice microcline. That looks better. Random old remains. Weird. Oh, I also just recently, finally, found our magma. All the way down here. Elevation negative 111, as opposed to 49 up here. Um, I want to figure out... I'm going to make a garbage chute. So I want to figure out the placement for that. Music reminds me of an old game I used to play on Super Nintendo, Secret of Mana. Yeah. Um, what is this one? I don't even know what game this is from, actually. I have my little now playing thing down in the corner. Uh, but this is a this is the Game Chops uh, study list. Um, so it's all from video games. It's all video game remixes. It's all very nice. It's all very chill. I know some. Jeez, that's a lot of dimple cups. Do we really need that many dimple cups? Jeez. Um, I know we're dying clothes, in theory. Uh, I know I've never played Secret of Mana, but I people say a lot of very good things about it. I've heard, I've heard of a lot of affection for that game. Are stupid. Okay, yeah, we're we're filling up there. Remember it finally? Yeah. Cause that was like yeah, Super Nintendo. And did those did that turn into a longer series? Did that get a was like there were a bunch of sequels to that? I can't recall.
first co-op Zelda ever. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Super Nintendo, that's, that's early for a co-op RPG kind of a situation. Secret of Mana was third in its series. I think I'm getting it confused with the the Tales game. There's Tales of a whole bunch of things, right? But another thing that I haven't done on my own. Jezebel, geez. The cat just flopped on my keyboard. <laughs> um, I also haven't played those, but um, I know those had a, like a whole bunch of games. Saiken Densetsu. <laughs> Made by Square Enix. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Uh, anyway, uh, trash shoot. That's what I want. I want to have a way to take stuff from here and throw it into a pit. And I know that, like, the south half of our... Oh, look. Hey, a web spitter. Nice. Uh, you can get Secret of Mana on iPhone. Wow, that's dangerous. <laughs> uh, look, a web spitter. Where did you show up? You were in Cave 2. Oh, now we're going to have a... I'm going to want one of these in particular to uh, survive. So that's cool. Is it this one? Yeah. Come on, Abaku, the Molten. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was the fastest Forgotten Beast fight I've ever seen. Holy cow. That previous Forgotten Beast had like three other Forgotten Beast kills. That was the reigning champ for quite a while. Flying Beast Extract strikes in the leg. Gores in the head. Just headshot straight through the skull. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, a lot of corpses down there. Um, for, for here, these aren't forbidden because it's closed. No one is allowed in here. This is like... Not just forbidden, like, there's no physical access to this cave. I revealed it and I closed it, and we've just been watching the Forgotten Beasts handle the population of, uh, Crundles? Yeah, these are mostly Crundles. That pre- uh, I wish I could watch- I wish I could look at this beast's stats now that it's dead. Kabu had hundreds of Crundle kills, as you can see. Um... But yeah, so that means I'm gonna have to extend my beast ways down down to this cave, so I can try to I'm gonna try to catch this one. I can get things I can get things situated the way they should be. Jeez, what are you made of? Uh, no health description. Composed of lavender jade. So now we have a lavender jade sp web spitter in cave two. And a Zircon uh, Forgotten Beast in Cave 1. So lucky. We will not be fighting these directly. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Turkey Gobbler found dead. I assume that's an old age thing. We have so many critters that we're just, like, constantly slaughtering. It's ridiculous. Um... Getting late over here, gonna head to bed. Yeah, sure! It was nice talking to you, good luck. Thanks! Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're welcome back anytime, I'll be here. I'm doing, uh... Door Fortress has been on Mondays and Thursdays, same time. And I do some stuff on Saturdays too, but it's usually, I've been switching it up. I just beat Sekiro last week, so I'm probably going to do some Elden Ring this weekend. Um, and all the VODs are on YouTube if you want to check them out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to be here listening to music and growing dimple cups, apparently. 
<laughs> really need that many. I we don't need that many dimple cups. Two hundred barley. Rope reed, yeah, dimple cups. So we only have eighty-six dimple cups, but that's because we're die we're crushing it all into dye. Which is done um, uh, here, here, with this job. And this is literally just milling everything, and we're we're refilling our crops whenever they're used, and then we're just using them whenever they're made. So we, yeah, we're just in an infinite die loop. So I need to check. Against our dimple die. Hey, dimple die. That's handy. Um, and then I want this to be at most like 200. What are we at now? We're at like 150 or something. Okay. Let's say 200. That'll you know, use all of the, the crops that we're making now. Uh, but yeah, and then they'll stop, hopefully. Because <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of dimple cups. Don't need to be using all of our precious labor on, on that sort of stuff. We're still hoping for a mayor. Is it once a year? I thought it was once a season, but maybe it's just once a year. So that got made. These are these are done. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Very nice. I'm excited to see those do something. Um, and I want to do the same thing here. I'm gonna take out these two. Of course, that'll take a second to actually happen. I'll replace those with weapon traps. Still waiting on our thaw, jeez. Oh, this is all getting organized though. Look at all this. Oh, this got this needs to be bigger. I don't think we have any mining jobs happening right now. See all these wheelbarrows. And that looks all fine. Got all our wood down here. And all our stairs. Okay. Since I don't think we have a bunch of mining going on right now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to out this other layer. Uh, can I just do like this? Yeah. Because that's, yeah. Nope, not there. Do not connect the beastways to the furniture storage. That would be bad. Because this one's the different one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why? And then here is gonna be over there. Okay. So that's fine. Oh, and we want to do these as well. Do that. For that matter, why don't we just do like that? Mm. 
And that'll be wood storage? I don't know. Then this whole layer can be furniture. I don't know. We can be flexible with it. And that's... I tend to have... I like... Been, words. I've been liking having big open storage floors. And that's not how everyone does it, as far as I can tell. Um, look at all these levers. Very cool. Still got a bunch of hair. Oh. Oh, where's all this gonna go? A lot of that's gonna be garbage. And that's the other thing. So I want a garbage chute for the stuff on the surface, but I also want a garbage chute down here. I could do... Somewhere in here. Mm, that's not kind of quite gonna work. We could do something over here, maybe. Not really. I've also considered doing something with mine carts. We could get fancy with minecarts if we have to. If we did something... Probably don't need all of... These are all guild halls, or at least they're, they're here for guild halls. We generally don't need that many. Maybe this one gets turned into a garbage chute, and then this can come through here. Yeah. That's not too bad. We can make that work. Yeah, and then and then we're below. Okay. Obviously, we'll have to go through. How do I deal with the cave? I'm wondering if. So if, if I just have a vertical shaft, you know, and a dwarf puts a skeleton into the shaft, and. It falls, and it hits the ground, it's going to hit the ground, right? If I have like a horizontal pathway, nothing's going to happen. All the stuff is just going to accumulate at the bottom of the, of the shaft. But I think, think that if things falling on ramps do kind of skid along the ramps. So I'm wondering if we had you know, a vertical shaft for the places where we could, but then we had kind of a, a you know, a horizontal ramp that could move things, like, to the side here. I, th I think it works that way? Not very confident about it. But I mostly just don't want to have to bring magma up. That's going to be a... Like we, do, we don't have the power to do that. No. Or time or patience. Uh, okay, so this got made... This is, this is happening, and then we're going to channel here. So that means our door... here, and then the bridge goes behind that. <laughs> and our little bypass situation, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna close that, because that was... I'm not going to say ill-advised, but it was to, to fix a problem that's no longer there. We're just going to close it. I can even just do a wall here. Um, and then I also, I mean, 
Jeez. I'm gonna make this bigger. Moved all of our gypsum, apparently, though. That's pretty nice. Yeah, they're just gonna start moving stuff. Perfect. We still have an undead wolfman <laughs> in our pit trap. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna thaw any minute now. Uh, did these get taken down? Good. Okay, so now we'll put in some weapon traps. There. All's get moved. Oh, our trade depot's empty. Perfect. That doesn't always happen. <laughs> uh, then we can close this one. Meng is back. Meng has been visiting a fair bit. How's our how's our library doing? We haven't actually checked our library. Written six. That's what we were at before, I believe. No one's No one's written this stuff. There's some choirs in here though. Someone just needs to start writing. <laughs> Look at all these Oh man, we made some paper. And this was an attempt to make something that just holds... What you call it? Book bindings? I don't think it's gonna work that way though. Oh well. Yeah, you're reading something. This is Daylight in the Seasons? Yeah. We have a book about Daylight in the Seasons and we have a book about the surveying staff. And we have two copies of each. Eat? Why are you eating? How? There's n you should not be eating in here. All the food is so much closer to here. I intentionally constructed this so that the only way to get food... Like, the the... You have to go buy these tables to get to the food, so that no other table in the fortress is, is closer to the food. So that they won't eat in the library. And there's a whole reason for that. Oh well. Yay, we're saving. That means we should thaw any second now. Snails and worms. <laughs> oh look, there goes the the river. So now it's gonna fill our reservoir. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Now down here. That got made. I got dug, so now we can make this one. Or this. Was I also gonna do. I guess I need to channel here too, don't I? Oh! A siege! 
it's finally happened. Oh dear. I was not expecting that. Oh, did they, did they actually show up? I've also messed with the, the invader caps and whatnot, so I'm wondering... Oh look, a, a thief. Oh, hey, they're, they're sneaking in. I see, here they are. But they're not gonna be able to find anything. This is literally just the trade depot and it's closed off and there's nothing else in there. There's nothing else in there. And you're gonna get caught. No, you don't, you don't get caught in cages. I guess that's fine. Um, is this goblin siege entirely thieves? A thief siege? Yeah. Okay. Uh. So you're gonna you're gonna get into our our courtyard here and find what all our bayberries. You're gonna steal a tree. Now we have here. Let's take our our melee dudes, and we'll just station them up here in the courtyard. And then you, what are you gonna you gonna try? Got over these weapon traps. Hmm. Thieves are just good at getting around weapons. <laughs> you got out of here just in time, didn't you? Okay, that one left. You can steal the bones, that's fine. Now, do you want to leave? There you go. Cool. Siege done. I wonder if that was, uh... It, it was either... Like a small siege, and it just had uh, thieves because it was like a you know a bandit band or whatever. Or I messed with the caps too much and and, and broke that, but that's fine. I'm okay with not just fighting goblins forever. Okay, job done. Thank you. So this, I want, I want to have to build a floor across and then take it down. Now let's just do this. I'm going to dig here and we'll put a wall back up. I can even do this. That's, yeah, that's the edge. Uh, then you can get rid of that ramp. That'll work. Okay. Garbage chute. From here. Main constraint. I mean, we could even, like, move this down a little bit if we wanted to. And then the cave is fine here. So we can get past cave one without too much issue. So... Just debating where exactly the trash chute goes. Kind of, I'm thinking, I mean, am I putting, putting walls around it and a door and, and trying to be safe about it? Or am I just putting a hole in the ground? Uh, well, 
wants to mark it as a channel at least. Oh, actually, that would work, wouldn't it? Obviously, we'd have to fill in that one bit, but that's fine. Uh, and then, like, we could go down to there. And then if we managed to make a ramp that went sideways... I guess we'll test it. We'll do... We'll do down past cave one, and I'll do a little bit of a ramp situation, and we'll see if that actually is able to steer our garbage horizontally. And the trick is, we're also going to need like a stairwell, because that's how pits are. So they need to actually, you know, get out of there. So we'll do like this. So we'll come down to here, and then we'll say this is a ramp. So we, we're just doing, going to dig there, and then channel here. So then that'll fall to here. here. I'll do like two more. And we'll, we'll make sure that everything's working in there. So we also need... Oh look! Another forgotten beast! We have so many beasts! What the heck? Nicalo Ephebo. Powering feathered Ankylosaurid? Sorid? Cool. It has wings and it is slavering. Beware its deadly blood. Neat. We haven't had very many flying ones. Oh, look at it! That's I haven't seen that art in particular. That's cool. Weak and clumsy. Nicalo the f Confusing. Okay. Well, you're gonna go fight a Zircon beast. Or no! This is cave three, isn't it? Where is this two? Where are we? This is three. Yeah, because it took. Yeah. Oh, there's a flying beast in the super vertical cave, of course. Well, that's cool. Uh, I don't think anything else is down here right now, so have fun. There are now beasts in all three caves. Okay, so it will go down like this. We'll deal with that. And then from here, we can walk down ramps, right? And of course, I don't want to actually mine the bit right beneath the channel. Right, okay. And then from here, we need a stair again. Like this. I think. I think. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, and then this is just going to be our, our access. Okay. Let's see how that does. suspect we'll need to fix all sorts of things in there. But threading the needle between those guild halls is quite nice. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that uh, that convenient. Oh look, Fu Moon Caravan, cool. How's our this? Okay, cool. And then they're gonna come and... Oh look! Stukas has been elected mayor. 
we are succeeding in all of our goals here. So that means now we have a dungeon master and a captain of the guard. Very cool. Okay. So we're going to deal with all that. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick uh, and we'll, we'll deal with some of that stuff. Yeah, be right back. Let's look at our mayor first. Who is our mayor? Stukas. Mayor. You are a great mechanic. You need to be with family and train martially. while well, you're not. I'm not going to give you a sword now that you're mayor. You're in our religion. You're in our farmer's guild. You were the sheriff. Okay. So we just elected the sheriff as mayor. Oh, and you were our expedition leader, too. Our expedition leader just got elected mayor. Wow. I don't think I've ever had an expedition leader last this long. <laughs> it's seriously been like 11 years. Uh, you even killed two people. One was before you even got here? Wow, that's interesting. Triumph to be elected, I bet. Okay. Uh, we have a church to your deity, and we have a church, and we have a temple to your church, your religion. You have a pet duck and a pet turkey. You're friends with <laughs> that poor, poor person who keeps not being able to do anything because they're so injured. Um, and passing acquaintances with a couple people. Yeah, you don't have family here. Uh, what is your your actual mood? Stukas. You're pretty happy. Okay. Cool. Well... Cool. What was all this? This is for... Oh. For you, apparently. Right, okay. Because you were our sheriff, or whatever. So you just need... You just need things to be better. These three rooms. Okay, so then let's tell someone to engrave it. That's a thing we can do. Engrave. No, not that. Because we have some engravers. Competent, dabbling, peasant. No, you can, you cannot. <laughs> do, do some good stuff, please. No oh, one moral is <laughs> dabbling engraver. Hmm. I tell you to do that. I want we want some good stuff in here for our for our new mayor. Uh, so Uved, I'm just gonna lock you to that for now. Oh, and we still have all this locks too, don't we? 
Let's do this. It's probably it's probably a thing. I guess the legendary ones can stay. Okay. And these got designated. So we'll we'll let them dig all that. Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and go back in and put this back to 50 because round numbers are nice because we won't lose a position. We won't lose mayor like the Baron. Yeah, it's filling. Cool. It's gonna be a lot of water, <laughs> which is good. Um, and we're we're digging here, perfect. Of course, there's gonna be a bunch more, or whatever. Um, and then there's other things. We have a Captain of the Guard, and we have a Dungeon Master. The Captain of the Guard... ...is a weird one. The Dungeon Master... ...schemer. They're both in the military? Is that a good thing? I don't know. Let's do that. Of course, you're going to need all sorts of stuff. Um, are all of these... These are all things, right? And this was... This is our barren stuff, wasn't it? Well, I'm gonna kick you out. Dungeon Master. How's that? Yeah, all good now? Just get the Baroness's old quarters. I think that's fine. Um, and then Captain of the Guard is weird. charge of internal security of a fortress. They have simple room requirements. Yeah, sheriff disappears. Position it a bit. Captain of the Guard leads the Fortress Guard, which alongside its regular mil military duties Aids in the enforcement of justice by investigating crimes, capturing criminals, delivering beatings. As such, the captain of the guard functions both as a sheriff and a militia captain. Once your fortress has reached a middling population, be prepared to dig out and furnish rooms for your middling captain to satisfy their additional requirements. Yeah, okay. So yeah, they can make a guard squad, which is different, slightly different from a militia squad. Um, that's right. I made a. There's a barracks here that's potentially for a um a melee squad. We can make. We only got so much room down here. We could go like here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. These can be our 
our guard quarters. Not that we really need them. I don't know if I'm going to make a whole other squad for them. Maybe we'll have like two guards. And they're not going to have a... Um, I'm not going to put them on a schedule or anything. Holy cow, look at all of our stuff. This stockpile is full. Like, nearly. My... Oh dear! Well, we have plenty of trade goods. Holy cow. Okay, cool. This got opened. And that... yeah, perfect. So... We'll just close this. Now we just have... all the water we could possibly want. I think. Um, I might go ahead and top us off from the river anyway. Just because we usually have to. And if we have the river, then we'll we'll use the river. And in theory this will even close automatically once it's to that level, but I don't trust it at all. Oh, caravan. That's right. Request. Uh, and let's close. And open. That's the duck. Uh, we'll do this one. Okay. And then we're requesting our broker, and then we're bringing all sorts of bins of finished goods. That should be everything that's close now. Yeah, 1700. And see, like, this one has got 13 grand in it, so got an artifact, which means I'm just not gonna bring it. Like, look at all these totems. All these totems. Shit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 6,400? Is that a... Is there something fancy in here? Yeah. Okay, let's not take that one. 1200. Yeah. Cool. Do that. Did these get made? Those got made. Cool. Fast! Just because it's right there. Oh my god. So happy. Eventually, the last one and the broker will show up. Perfect. Cool. So I'm gonna collapse and just do everything. That's like 12 grand. That's cool. What do you have? Do you have anything I want? You have some instruments and some cages. <laughs> Food. Hooray. Uh, silver war hammer. Large sized things. A bunch of bags. Bolts. Bolts I care about, I guess. 
large gems or meat, whatever. Whatever. Decorated spiked iron balls. Bunch of splints. Any books? No, just parchment. And like parts of instruments. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll take your cheese. Long yams? Mm, cool. Uh, let's take the bolts, that's fine. A lot of money for something I could do pretty easily, but uh, whatever. Um, I don't care about those, I don't care about those. Large sized armor. I don't even know if we can use flails. We'll take the cages. Why not? The toy hammer worth 1700? Sure. And the full instruments. I won't take the instrument parts, but I will take the full instruments. Jeez. Uh, I'm way over trading, but we have so many trade goods that I'm almost just wanting to get rid of stuff. So let's just do that. Yeah, I bet you're happy. Okay. Done. Um, how are we here? Oh, mayor has mandated the construction of certain goods. Hooray. Why did I want this again? Chains. Hmm. So chains as an item category includes ropes made of cloth. Uh, so I'm just going to say yarn rope because we have yarn and yarn is very sustainable for us right now. So we're just going to make two yarn ropes and that will satisfy our mayor. Um, and we're, we're engraving. So that'll, that'll happen eventually. You'll be in a nice bedroom soon enough, Mayor. Clearly we're uh, shearing faster than we have creatures. Was it better just to leave it at one? Yeah, we'll just turn it back to one at a time. Because I think what's happened, since we have two workshops, it's like there will be exactly two things that can be sheared, and both those jobs will activate, and one does one, and then now they've used each other's second animal, so then they both go, oh look, there's no more animals I can shear, and just sit there and cancel. So we'll just put it back down to one, that's fine. I think we're fine on wool. And we're doing this. Cool. And there's slope, slope. Yeah. Oh, I even channeled that out. Uh, well, I temporarily put a floor here just so it's on. No, I'll do it. What am I doing? I just want to test this. I just want to throw something down the pit and see what happens. Uh, so. I'm going to do a hatch here, and then we're going to make a dump zone, or really a, a refuse stockpile for the moment. We'll also put a dump zone here. Let's go... Okay. 
here. What am I? Am I not? Can I not put a stockpile on top of a, a hatch like that? I thought I... How did I do that before? I could put the hatch on the second level, I guess. Is that just doing a dump? We can do a dump. Where's dump? Dump! There. Dump. Now, if there's rotten stuff in here... I'll just say cartilage, donkey hair, just just dump the things. And then I know I had a dump zone up here. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this one. But I thought I could do that. Apparently not. This will be enough of a test for... Of course I would need to hook it up to a lever too. I'm just gonna... let's just... get okay, whatever. There we go. Bell. So just a single piece of nervous tissue. Just landed there. I'm wondering if like one thing can knock another. Cause there's yeah, there's some more things to dump. So let's see let's see what they do when they like grab that cartilage. Oh, am I am I flooding? Yes. Why did not... Are we closed? No. Okay, well before we murder anyone with our stupid waterfalls... Uh, closing the one's gonna be fine. Uh, but I'm also gonna turn off the pumps. Cause that's what we learned. What was the trick? Because that is going to be what allows the water to actually drain. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Just nobody die in the meantime, please. This must have just started. got pulled. Okay, so now that's just gonna fill, and now it's overflowing there. But not here. That's so weird. And that's fine. It'll drain here. Yeah. This will successfully drain. It's just... Oh, and it's gonna flood all this. Oh, that's... That's less ideal. Should have put doors here. Why aren't there doors here? I'm gonna have to drain the loom. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, and this is. I'm making sure this is draining, and then we can turn it back on. There's nothing else. There's very little else. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell it to start pumping again. Uh, yeah, 
Ah, that's unfortunate. It's gonna be like just enough water to be a whole thing. Okay, so now we're, oh, hi cat. We're pumping again. And it's like just deep enough that I can't do anything about it. Okay, well that's... That's a question for later. <laughs> uh, we didn't kill anyone. Yeah. My god. Look at all that food. Okay. They're still... Why didn't the... This is Chrono Trigger. Another game with fantastic music. They all got mined. They look rock salt. I don't know if ramps don't work the way I think they do, or if that just needs adjustment. What happens if I... Does that work that way? I didn't really get to say which direction that ramp goes. Because we could make little, like, minecart loops to ferry things, you know, horizontally as we need to, but... That's definitely more complicated than I want it to be. So if I do... Ramp. automatically shapes itself. Well, we can get... Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to do some thinking about that one. Merchants have left on their journey. They had to get off a long way a bit. We still have more stuff? No. Look. It's empty. Ridiculous. Oh. And... Oh. So. Waterfalls are... Fine. Nice and full. There's plenty of water in there. Jeez. But we're not backing up. So that's all fine. That's less fine. I mean, this all stays so, so low. What if I just... What if I just do that? And let it drain in. And then we can put the wall there. Maybe. all our overflow water down here. 
Um, okay, so here we can remove these ramps. And this is all open space, right? Perfect. And then, I guess I want these channeled. Yes, come back. There we go. Now that is going to be another bridge. It's just a matter of linking all those letters. Hmm. I'll do some thinking about all this. And we also have to figure out a way to get like trash from the surface down there too. And those are our main two sources of garbage, right? The kitchen and the surface and any caves we want to have open which is zero okay this all got done imposed a ban on exports what are you banning we're banning the export of chains fine <laughs> whatever Still making all these bone crafts. At least we're using the bones. Because we didn't we have so many bones. Where are they? They're here. Play with puzzle box. Sleep. Why? Why do my long stay places all have random people in them? Like. Weird. Because we have bedrooms. We have empty bedrooms, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's one. There's one. And they're better, too. Not that many. But there are some. <laughs> I can make another level of them if I needed to. Yeah, there's one. Two. Three. Four. Yeah. Yeah, why? Why? Justice is fine. That's always nice. No one in the hospital. Um, I mean, I could reroute this around and just have the chute come down straight. We'd still run into trouble when we got to the cave. Unless I want to just build 
a vertical shaft through the cave, through the water. That's not going to happen. It's going to have to be up here. And then the other cave. The other cave is going to be a nightmare. I guess maybe not. We might get lucky. Huh? Jeez. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, that's actually not too bad. And then the lava down here, and of course, of course the lava isn't directly underneath, but that's fixable. We can make lava go horizontal down here. We can make a little reservoir of lava over here. Actually, that might even be preferable because we can have it filter through some fortifications. If you just have an opening, you know, into the ceiling of the magma sea, then you can have flying fireproof things just fly up through your garbage chute. So we can make we can make a little incinerator pool here, and we can go straight down if we can get like into the corner, right? This is all fine. Just barely. But it is fine. It's also fine here, just barely. Oh my god. Mm. So the majority of... situation it's gonna be like there that's like that's like the actual corner corner of the map jeez okay that means if we can get our garbage into this corner then it can fall straight down all the way to the magma gonna mark all of this just so I don't do something stupid uh, but yeah but then we can just say make a pool of magma here and, and let it flow over so that means our only real hurdle I mean, even, even then, I could say, I mean, this, that's, that's going to be the thing to deal with. What is, huh, I don't know where that came from. I was like, I could even say the shoot goes over here, but I'm not moving this. We're going to have, we have to go around this. So that means we have to come down beneath it, and then from here we can go over. But we could. I mean, this can this can go around. That's fine. This so we can go straight down, and then we literally just have to cross this horizontal different dis distance. And is the question is the answer? Ramps is the answer minecart. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that some more. But the upshot is that it's a thing we can do. Um then I also want like I want a garbage chute access near the gatehouse, because if we get, you know, things come in and die, they're gonna be dying over here which is the complete opposite end is to over here. So, we have to do something. Like over here, I mean, we can, this is the main thing. We can come down through here and then there's the bedrooms. Through the middle here? No. 
I've been very good about using all the space available to me and I've left no caps. Because of course... Um, did I successfully drain this? I did. That's cool. Well, uh, let's do a wall here. Done. And then I'm going to put some doors here before that happens again. Cool. Okay. I think... I think that's a stopping point. We've made some progress, so we're saving. Cool. It's already autumn. It's ridiculous. I'm just going <laughs> to save and exit. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, that was a... That was productive. We made some amendments to our our gatehouse. We've made some improvements, question mark, to our uh, our beast trap. Hopefully, we'll, and we got another Weber to show up, so we just need to dig the rest of that. Uh, need to dig the connection up to gate to, to cave two. And then we can try to try to catch it. Um, yeah. And with that one, like, I don't even have... I'm not doing our whole little retractor bridge thing at, at Cave 2. I'm just gonna have a door. And hope that the only thing I let inside is the beast. I guess. Um, luckily, the beasts have been able to murder everything else, so there's nothing else down there to let in. So I'm just gonna open the door and let it in, and then close the door behind it. I think that's all that's gonna happen there. Uh, so then we need to make some changes to... The actual web farm area. Uh, we'll make some some changes there, um, but the upshot to that is, I think we can just put in a bunch of doors and be able to control things a bit better than we were before with the gates. At least that's what I'm going to try next. And yeah, we got our mayor finally after a decade in this fort. We have a mayor, um, so that's good. We technically got a goblin siege without any goblins. Um, so I'm expecting that to not be the case next time they show up. Unless they just bring like 50 thieves, in which case that's gonna be hilarious. I think we can deal with that. Really, I think we can deal with a, a nice goblin seed at this point anyway, with our, our parapets and our weapon traps, our ballistas. We can, oh man, I'm, I'm excited to test out our ballistas on something who wants to come in through the front, front door. That'll be cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's Dwarf Fortress for you. Uh, more of this on Thursday. Uh, come by on the weekend. Uh, where other plans are being negotiated, so either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I'll let you know on Thursday what I'm actually doing. But sometime this weekend, we'll do an Elden Ring summon stream. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Uh, just sit in sit in a place and get summoned and be up for adventure for whatever you get summoned for. Um, so we'll, we'll do that and we'll listen to music and we'll hang out and that'll be fun. It's a very chill time. Like this isn't, but... Um, yeah. So that's, that's that. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for staying kind. <laughs>